So, uh, welcome back to Secret Agent HD. I'm playing the good old games version, and you can see on uh, this screen the statistics, my best episode results. So in episode one, I found, uh, I got all the flags and all the uh, magnifying glasses, but apparently it didn't save my achievements, because you'll see here that it's saying I don't have the Red Rock Rover achievement, which of course I did. Uh, so yeah, um, don't know quite what's happened there. It is tracking a great number of other things for me, but yeah, it might be something worth checking out, uh, on the good old games version, because yeah, obviously Steam, possibly because I'm not playing with GOG Galaxy, I'm just playing with a bare install of it. Not sure what the deal is there, but uh, it might be something worth thinking about. Anyway, so uh, if achievements are a big thing to you, they've never been a big thing to me personally, but some people they're very important. Um, so yeah, this is uh, the achievements you can get. And so there's one for finishing each episode, finish a level, finish a level with a perfect score, which I think means don't take a hit, although it might mean getting all the items, I don't know. Um, that's the pacifist one, finish a level without killing anything. Uh, finish a level in under 60 seconds. Swimming with the fishes, um, getting rapid fire maximum, which I didn't get in episode one, which makes me think there must be multiple ones in another episode. Stack barrels on top of each other. So hold four keys on your inventory at once, which makes me think that episode four, several of these give away things that will happen in episode four, I think. So presumably in episode four, we can get uh, a fourth colored key. Mecha spiders. See, these are things like mecha spiders aren't in the original game, so things for uh, episode four um counts a bunch of things got all the magnifying glasses oh no so it did save that so i wonder why it didn't save that it finished episode one that's on uh flag waver yeah so um banking agent collect over a hundred thousand uh no collect over a million worth of bonus items i'm a long way off that so yeah there's a lot of stuff to uh do and collect to add to um the uh, challenge if that's your kind of thing all right let's uh, keep going with Killigan Island I gotta admit I've never been a real achievement hunter um, they're a nice thing to have but it's not something I've ever sort of particularly busied myself with I didn't mean to do that not something I've ever particularly busied myself with going after I know a lot of people do, and I mean, they're sort of a nice thing to have, but I've never played a game where I've gone, I, I've got some people who will only play a game to get achievements, or trophies in some cases. Um, like, oh, okay, that's not good. Alright, let's try a different path. What happens if I go this way? So yeah, and like, I just don't get, maybe it was growing up in a different era of gaming where such things didn't exist, but uh, yeah, I just, um, I don't quite get the need to have them. But to each their own, I suppose. I have a bad feeling that doing this in the wrong order is going to be a real problem. Um, hmm. Okay, I can't swing left there without taking out the rotating thingy at the top. So what I might have to do... Thank you. if I then take this teleporter, yeah, it takes me over here. Okay, so I can take that out. I need to get rid of the laser field. Okay. 
So how? I haven't seen the disc yet. But I do have a red key, so I can go through here now, which is where the disc is. And the computer. Okay. So that's doable. Alright, maybe I haven't done this in entirely the wrong order. We shall see. Oh, that was close. I just noticed my uh, ammo count has gotten quite out of control. Okay, laser field deactivated. So now... We can take the teleporter... And... Fall right on the landmines! <sighs> okay. So I think I had the right idea though. So use this blue key to get the red key. Yeah, and because I've got this green key, I can get out of this room. Okay. So this is a bit more puzzly than episode one. Oh. That was a disaster. <laughs> okay. So now this time I'm in, a, I'm in a bit of a bad way. can drop down here because we've turned the laser field off and land on the car. So presumably use the blue key, grab the barrel, which I'll need in that room. Okay. So the trick is going to be not getting myself shot or hit by that lightning generator. Go. Go. Okay, grab the other blue key. It's amazing what they were able to do in this game with the limited sort of number of keys. Like, the, the fact that you've only got three keys is not a hindrance to the puzzle making. Just using them in the right order is what becomes the puzzle. Bye, mate. Poof. I was going to say it's a long way to the next wall. Okay, and then that should drop us, yeah, back here. Wait for the spikes. And we just go to the exit. Okay. Not a perfect run, but, uh,. I got through it. Okay, let's try and finish off this section of the island, shall we? Uh, and now I cannot reach that red key. This one it is. One of the achievements does seem to be for killing the black ninjas. I'm wondering if that means they started as black ninjas, or just killing a human enemy that started at least at the black ninja stage. More teleporters. Uh, 
I don't think I can get that red key from this angle. No, I cannot. Okay, that's good to know. Oh, but you know what I could do? <laughs> is use this barrel. And get it that way. Which I'm assuming is what you're meant to do with this barrel, because there is absolutely nothing else down there that it would be possibly advantageous for. And I do indeed need a red key to get out of this room. Oh, the firepower power-up is there. I so badly want that. It's a really awkward place for this kind of robot. Gotcha. Okay, I don't want to use that blue key there because I might need that later. Uh, okay, so I've got to come at this from over to the left somehow. <clears throat> Where does this teleporter take me back to? Just back to here. So, right. Am I missing something? I don't know. Is there a way? What am I missing? I'm clearly, there's something I'm not doing right here. I haven't worked out how to get sort of to the upper part of outside either. I can't transport a barrel, can I? I didn't mean to do that. Um, yeah, so I need to get to that green key. So I'm missing some invisible platform glasses. Wait, I do have the disc. Have I just been walking past the computer or something? Yeah, I've totally been walking past the computer. It's up here. Okay, cool. Now we may make progress. Yeah, invisible platform glasses. There we go. Wow, that sounded like it laid down a lot of invisible platforms. <laughs> gotcha. Uh, okay. Hmm. I feel like I'm still missing something here. Okay, let's go back this way, where there will now presumably be invisible platforms. We can get the green key. Okay, I see what I meant to do then. Okay, green key. Dynamite. The flag. And most importantly, the radar dish. And it's that damned impatience that made me run into a spike. I got too cocky. I probably want to bring the barrel. Yeah, so I can get to that ledge and get the green door so I can get the firepower power up. Which I very badly want. Increased shot power. Okay. So there is no indicator for it on screen, but that is a permanent power-up for the rest of the episode. Okay. Um. 
We'll give, we'll go one more level because uh, my initial uh, attempts in that part were not the best. <clears throat> hmm. Yep. Saw that coming. Uh, tempted by those falling money bags. There is a red key down there. Which I am going to want for that red door. <laughs> And then possibly just get the red key and then come straight back here. You do kind of eventually get used to um, the sort of reversed controls well enough to play through portions of the level with it. Alright, I'm going to have to come back here with the disc at some point. Disc is rather appropriately hidden in the computer center, which I like. Okay. Let's cruise on over. Dodge the missile. And the laser field has been deactivated. Probably could have done it without deactivating the laser field, actually. <clears throat> because I think you could probably shoot that from the other side. Oh, you can't stand on that. Okay, then no, you have to deactivate the laser field. <laughs> Yeah, I thought this was a platform, but no, it's not at all. Okay, so let's uh, do this without uh, falling in the slime this time, shall we? Do I want to go to the armory? No, I really don't. Okay, that'll do it for this part. Uh, we'll be back and continuing on with Kill Again Island in uh, the next part. If you're enjoying this playthrough, I've got playthroughs of Crystal Caves, Major Striker is coming up as I do this one as well, and uh, Duke Nukem, and we're going to have plenty more content like this featuring games by Apogee and other great uh, DOS company, uh, DOS based gaming in the uh, future. So uh, do stick with me, like, subscribe, etc, and I'll see you next time.